Hello. Are you here for a two-minute Tuesday? Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I hope you grab a little tea or a little coffee or whatever time of day it is. I don't know, maybe a little wine, you know? You know what I'm saying? All right, because today we are talking about the Rhodesian Ridgeback. And you can make fun of me for the rest of this video on how I'm going to pronounce this dog for the rest of the time. But this was a request from one of my friends and I hope you enjoy it. If you're new here, my name is Carla and I hope you stick around this channel and check out our other Two Minute Tuesdays. But for today, let's put two minutes on the clock and let's get it started. Okay, so the history of the Rhodesian Ridgeback dates back to the 16th and 17th century when European settlers began arriving in South Africa. They brought with them various dog breeds, including greyhounds, terriers, bloodhounds, and various indigenous African dogs. These European breeds were bred with the local African dogs, resulting in a distinctive breed that possessed excellent hunting and guarding abilities. The breed's development continued throughout the 19th century, and the indigenous tribe called Hottentot, I'm sorry if I butchered that, um, it's a tribe in South Africa that was known for their large and fierce hunting dogs, and they played a significant role in shaping this specific breed, as they were the ones that had dogs with a distinctive ridge of hair running along their backs. And the European settlers recognized the value of this characteristic and selectively bred dogs with this ridge, giving a rise to the breed we know today as a Rhodesian Ridgeback. In the 19th century, big game hunters from Europe and the United States discovered the breed's exceptional hunting skills, particularly for tracking and holding large game such as lions. The breed's name is derived from the region where it was primarily developed, Rhodesia, which is now Zimbabwe. The breed gained popularity not only as a hunting dog, but also as a family companion due to its loyal, intelligent, and affectionate nature. By the early 20th century, the Rhodesian Ridgeback's reputation as a lion hunter solidified and big game hunters used them to track and corner lions until the hunters arrived to dispatch the animal. Their bravery, stamina, and ability to work independently were highly regarded. While their hunting instincts are still present, Rhodesian Ridgebacks are more commonly seen as loyal and gentle companions today. They are known for their protective nature, loyalty to their families, and their distinctive ridge of hair along their backs, which sets them apart from other breeds. They have a natural instinct to protect their loved ones, which can make them excellent watchdogs. Introducing them to various people, animals, and environments from a young age will help them become well-rounded and friendly dogs. They generally do well in a family environment and can be very good with children, but it's important to supervise interactions because of their large size. Owning a Rhodesian Ridgeback requires commitment, time, and dedication to their exercise, training, and socialization needs. With proper care, training, and a loving environment, a Rhodesian Ridgeback can be a loyal, protective, and affectionate companion for individuals and families alike. Ridgebacks can be independent thinkers and may exhibit a stubborn streak at times. They are intelligent dogs, but they can have somewhat of an aloof nature, which means they may not always be as eager to please as some other breeds. Consistent and patient training methods that focus on positive reinforcement are crucial for successful ownership. So I'm getting ready to show you the finished painting and this was a fun one to paint. Thank you, Garo, for requesting this breed. They have a very interesting history and I hope you guys learned a little bit about them. I definitely learned a lot about them and I think I got a little bit better at pronouncing this dog's name. And this one will probably be in our shop as a sticker or a phone case. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and leave a comment down below. If you have this breed, I'll see you guys next time.